hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to do in silico adme analysis using swiss adme if you are doing research on in silico drug discovery you must know the relationship of physical chemical properties and biological activity as well as how to do the in silico ADME analysis here ADME stands for absorption distribution metabolism and excretion at first you have to retrieve ligands from the data bank like here we have a pumpkin and you can retrieve any of a ligand from this database and you can do further analysis from that if you don't know how to download a ligand then check the description box so uh, the next is uh, which is the pointable things that is you should know how safe the ligand is for the human body to analyze this we should do add EME before doing that uh, we must know the role of the Lipinski so first of all what is Lipinski rules look at that Lipinski's rules uh, is also known as Pfizer's rules um, that is uh, evaluate the likeliness or determined if a chemical compound with the certain pharmacological or biological activity uh, has a form of chemical properties like and also physical properties that would make it a likely orally active drug in human um, that means uh, the Lipinski rules are mostly followed for the oral drugs uh, which must need to active in the human body uh, the rule was formulated by look at that Christopher uh, Lipinski in 1997 so uh, that's our Lipinski's definition then what are the rules of Lipinski look at that uh, when we will get the result of ADME uh, we must follow these rules uh, to choose the ligand file uh, which is um, more safe for the human body look at that uh, through these Lipinski rules um, the hydrogen bond donor of the ligand ligand not more than 5 and the hydrogen bond acceptor also not more than 10 that was 5 and that is 10 uh, the molecular weight uh, must be less than 500 daltons the log p value that means the lipophilicity value uh, it's not greater than 5 uh, here we can get these types of 5, 10, 500 and 5 how we may get this uh, actually uh, if um, we go for uh, ADME analysis then we predict these numbers and uh, after getting the result of ADME then we choose through this process uh, which is reliable to the Lipinski rules uh, now let's go how to do that now firstly you have to go to the google chrome and at first you have to go to the pubchem database uh, i can say if you don't know how to download uh, pubchem from the pubchem library then you may check my video now i am searching for a Load pin. Look at that. That's our result. And click here. To do the Swiss ADMA, we need just that. That's a canonical smiley, and just copy this canonical smiley of the load pin. Okay. Then just write here Swiss. Add em. Look at that. You may get. Such here. Swiss add 
vpn you can get this type of search engine here and click here look at that that is a suicide ME web server and we'll perform on it and if you want uh, to draw the ligand then you can and draw this in this uh, option but uh, we are just pasting our canonical smiley then we will do run look at that maybe we are getting a result very fast okay that is our ligand file and in here that is the formula of our ligand file and you can see the molecular weight is 408.88 gram per mole and it's not more than 500 and look at that the hydrogen bond acceptor is 6 uh, we should uh, follow the Lipinsk rules and as per Lipinsk rules it's must be um, below the 10 and it's 6 uh, look at that that is the hydrogen bond donor that's 2 and it must be uh, less than 5 to follow the Lipinsk rules <coughs> if you want to see the lipophilicity the log p values uh, look at this uh, the overall log p values is 2.52 uh, actually in the Lipinsk rules the uh, it must be uh, below the 5 but uh, here it's just uh, 2.5 and next if you see the water solubility you can uh, see the solubility if you uh, want to do your further research and the important thing is the pharmacokinetics look at that the GI absorption in the gastrointestinal uh, absorption uh, that's really high and that means it may absorb easily on the gastrointestinal tract and look at that BBB that means the blood brain barrier uh, permit uh, it's the answer is no that means uh, it doesn't uh, pass the blood brain barrier uh, if you are thinking to um, discover a drug that's like uh, uh, that's past the blood brain barrier then it's uh, must be yes uh, okay you can see the inhibitors which is uh, related to the your research work and here the lipinski rules drag likeliness yes that's a zero violation that means all of the criteria are uh, followed in this uh, ligand file uh, here uh, other some rules uh, of the uh, gauche waiver egan and you can see all of um, the rules are maintained then the bioavailability score is 0 0.55 that's uh, the ADME result you can uh, see the further analysis and you can select the ligand through this process uh, is it safe uh, if you get the ligand as followed the leaping screw with the zero violation that means it's safe for human body okay till then thank you and please subscribe our channel thank you